Um, Dr. Yi, kind of shifting gears a little bit, um, South Korea is, is making its mark globally in the world of entertainment with pop groups and films such as BTS and Parasite. K-pop groups, Korean shows, and films are increasingly becoming popular in the U.S. and have been received very fav favorably by the American public. Is the same in the same the case for Ameri is the same this case for American entertainment in South Korea? What role does entertainment play in combating the increasing rise of anti-Asian racism in the United States? Um. <clears throat> Um, I may not be the best person to analyze the reasons why uh, uh, the Korean entertainment industry has been so successful globally from a uh, business perspective or like artistic perspective. But uh, as a political scientist, actually, I do believe that uh, uh, one of the reasons why this Korean pop culture has been successful and uh, popular uh, in the globalized world, it was basically Korean, Korean pop culture. Um, um, I mean, it's, it's I mean, I mean, its message is not Korean per se. Actually, when I when I listen to I listen to a lot of BTS songs. I mean, really, I I I, I do listen to BTS songs ev almost every day, actually. And then the when I listen to like BTS songs, I mean, I find difficult. I mean, I mean, what is Korean in those songs, right? Of course, I mean, obviously they, they, they sing the songs in Korean language, but other than that, I mean, what is so Korean in that? Um, I think, I mean, uh, uh, the Korean pop industry has been, has become so popular because of its, uh, its, its message, its universal message. So they are singing about basically Universal values and principles such as individual freedom, um, humanity, self-esteem, and then the, um, justice, social justice, especially, and then that is why maybe uh, uh, the I'm not sure you heard about this like uh, the BTS fan club called Army. They have been very active in promoting social justice in the United States. Um, so they are. Uh, they they are addressing not only just anti-Asian racism but all any kind of racism. For example, last year uh, during the uh, the Black Lives Matters movement, Black Lives Matter movement uh, after George Floyd death, um, um, BTS uh, decided to donate uh, one million dollars, and their fan club Army they match it one million dollar donation within hours, and then the. Uh, um, also, the army uh, actually they waged some sort of like cyber attack on some racists, you know, like uh, hashtags such as like hashtag uh, white matters, white lives matter, or hashtag like uh, all lives matter, something like. They actually filled uh, those all those hashtags with like seemingly endless stream of uh, like fan camps, basically Korean pop uh, like fan camps, something like that. So. Uh, I think this kind of universal message uh, resonates really well with uh, the young generation uh, globally, not only in the United States, but globally, no matter where they live. Um, I think uh, the American pop culture used to work that way in Korea. Um, when I was growing up, I, I loved uh, New Kids on the Block. I'm not sure. You remember this like boy group, but New Kids on the Block was my favorite, uh, like like boy group basically. And then the, when I was listening to their songs, I was not just consuming some sort of American pop culture. I was actually uh, like I was uh, I was fascinated by I mean, like uh, the American society described in their songs. I mean their cultures, like uh, you know, like dynamic life, way of life, and an openness optimism, um, that kind of things. And then the, I am, uh, I'm not sure uh, if Koreans would feel that way nowadays. Um, uh, of course, I mean, Korea is one of the biggest markets for American entertainment industry, but when they listen, when they watch and listen to sort of like 
all these like negative news about you know United States like as you mentioned anti-Asian racism and police brutality and then the, um, like armed res resurrection insurrection in in the capital um, so um, the United States and Korea we are not just allies we are not just strategic allies we are sharing the same principles and values of liberal democracy and then the, to restore I mean as uh, our topic just I mean, we are trying to uh, revitalize and restore I mean this alliance and then, then to restore this alliance we really need to make sure that we are uh, sharing the same liberal democratic ideas excellent thank you dr. E. Uh, dr. Stockton this is a this is not a BTS question